Hi, welcome to the Craft Channel. My name's Corin Brad, and today I've got a cute little project for you for Halloween favours. And they're little tiny witch's hats, and essentially they are hollow inside there, so what you can do is you can fill them with treats and then cover them over. And instead of, you know, trick or treat baskets, you could have trick or treat hats when people come knocking at your door. It's very simple. There will be a template or a link to the template in the description below. And you need a cone shape and a brim from one colour and a decoration and a bottom from the other colour. So I've already cut these, so I'm going to have green and orange this time. And what I would recommend you do, because the trickiest part of this whole project is getting a nice even cone. So if you cut yourself a cone shape from scrap um, paper or thin cardstock and roll it into a cone that is big enough for the brim of your hat to sit on, but it leaves you about a centimetre overhang. And there's a reason for that. I'll show you that in a minute. So with your brim shape, first of all what you want to do is where you have the, the folding tab, if you just put your thumbnail in there, fold it over and just pinch that. Don't crease all the way down there but make a pinch point so that you can curl it easily. And then if you get a ball ended tool and then just by hand, just indent, let's use the smaller side of that, indent the edge of your um, cone about a centimetre, perhaps a little bit less than a centimetre in. This isn't an imperative stick. If you haven't got a ball ended tool, you could use an old run out biro or the end of a knitting needle. Um, but it just does make folding things a little bit easier when it's in a cone. Also what I'd suggest you do is if you grab your scissors and you start to bend that into a bit of a cone shape before you fold it. And then this is the reason you have your mould as it were. Pop your pre-made cone inside the one that you want to make. Roll it around there. And when you're happy that it's going to fit, you want to apply some tacky PVA to that edge. You don't need too much PVA. You do need enough PVA to make sure this actually sticks while I'm demonstrating it and doesn't fall apart in the middle. Pinch the top, and then if you lay that down, you should be able to get, well, take your cone out of there, you should be able to get a good press on that glued bit. And then also what you might want to do is just trim away that point at a slightly more shallow angle, so you have a nice point to it. Once you've done that, you need to take your scissors and you need to snip at about uh, six, seven millimetre intervals up to your previously scored line. When you get to the bit where you've actually got the overhang, you might need a little bit more gumption in your scissors there to get through two layers of card. But once you've done that, you can then just flip these tabs up and you can cut away those two that haven't been a part of the overhang. 
So lay it on a flat surface. Check the fit of your brim. Yep. And then just put some more tacky PVA. around the inner circle of your brim. Place it over the top and press it down. Take your decorative trim and again a few dots of PVA I'd make sure you put a dot of PVA on each spiky bit so that they don't lift up and spoil. Does then make it difficult to pick it up again. But then just place that over the top. And then you have your hollow cone that you can fill with sweets. And once they're filled, if you just glue the base plate to the bottom, and the base plate is just very slightly larger. Look at this, look at this, doing it in a hurry and the glue's not drying. So you put your sweets in there, pop that over the top, and then just slide it to make sure you've got an equal border all the way around. And they make great little table decorations. You could even put some elastic in there, have it as a little fascinator if you can't be bothered to make a larger Halloween costume this year. You could even suspend them. Oh, actually what you could do if you've got some fairy lights, you could even make a hole in the top of each one of them and have fairy lights suspended out of them. They'd make great little lampshades as well. But it's very easy. Four pieces of card is all you need, and there'll be a link, uh, a link to the template in the description below. And um, there's lots more, more ideas on Halloween decorations, paper Halloween decorations, if you have a look at our Paper Crafter blog post. So I'll put a link to that in the description as well, because there's endless fun there. Stuff for adults and kids. And, um, you know, it's been a while since we've had any decent festivities, so let's make Halloween a good one this year. Thanks for watching. In the meantime, please keep safe, and we'll see you soon. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by The Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.